Hello everybody, I'm Jim Dilo of AM1230 WJOB. It's Wednesday, January 29th of 2014. And uh, what a show this morning on uh, the radio here, local radio at its finest. First of all, it was butt cold again. And uh, Ramon, a longtime caller, gave us the uh, exact definition of butt cold. It is a bitterly unusual temperature text. And uh, really, it, to me, it just means that your backside's cold, but he redefined that, and hopefully that'll become part of the region vernacular as we go forward. Lots of accidents, lots of iciness again. It was minus one degrees when I got in for the show. Huge accident on westbound Borman at the state line, and it had things backed up all the way to Grant Street all morning long. It was complete chaos. Uh, six cars. An F-150 and a semi were, was our reported uh, by the callers. We actually had a couple callers that so much want to be part of the Citizens Traffic Authority that they knew that the traffic was there and they went through it anyways just so they could report on it. One caller is a friend. She calls in on a regular basis. Cost her about 50 minutes to wait through all that traffic and finally get through. And then another caller, Jim, he did the same thing. He's like, all right, I know you guys need a report, so I waited through it. That's dedication. That's why we do the best traffic here on the bottom of Lake Michigan. Once again, everybody back in school, just about everybody back in school. Everybody was off yesterday as it got down to minus 14. Today, it's starting out at about zero, go up to 22 degrees or so. So we're finally out of the butt cold syndrome. We did a lot of talk today about the uh, principals situation in Hammond. Evidently, five Principals in Hammett are going to get uh, let go because their schools aren't performing. Included in that group is Hammond High, Irving, Hess, and uh, Edison, and uh, one other elementary school. And those principals are going to be reassigned because they got bad grades on their schools. And we talked a little bit about that. One guy called in, uh, Jason. He went on and on about uh, how he actually lives in Hammond and has decided to send his kids to Bowman Academy in Gary. And uh, that was not a, a shining moment for Hammond schools on our airwaves. Typically, um, much of the talk here is very positive toward Hammond schools and so forth. But today, uh, it certainly didn't follow in that tradition. I believe in the Hammond schools and the public school system here, and you guys well know that. Uh, today just wasn't a great day for them on our airwaves. It was a good day for Al Hamnick, though, of the Times. Al, uh, writing for uh, local sports over 40 years. And he wrote a column in the last week about heroes. And a caller called in, Mars called in and said this. I want this. to compliment you on a, a fine piece of writing the other day on uh, the article on heroes that you wrote. I couldn't agree with you more. I'm not, what Al said is, you know, the, the real heroes that we have are the, the people that go nameless and provide the first response to the terrible accident we had on the expressway. And so Heroes was a big deal uh, with Al and I talking, and Al had this to say about his column and about Heroes. The night of that accident, uh, I remember nobody on my street in Highland would dare go outside. It was so brutally cold. These men and women <clears throat> worked through the night, but 46 vehicles, almost half of them semi-tractor trailers, uh, 20 Three people hurt, three killed. These these are our real heroes. The so there it is for Wednesday, January 29th of uh, 2014. We're two days closer to being out of January. One of the worst weather Januaries uh, ever, really, here in northwest Indiana. Today, as we tape this, it's still two degrees outside, and it feels like a balmy two degrees. So there it is. AM 1230 WJOB.